Good morning, Yellow Giraffes. How are you doing? Can you believe it? We are on lesson 30. I can't believe we've made it through the whole study of the book of John. This week we are doing the last section. It's only four verses. It's John chapter 20 verses 30 and 31 and then John chapter 21 verses 24 and 25. So it's the last verses of chapter 20 and chapter 21. Those four verses. So we're going to talk about those four verses today. The first, let's open with a word of prayer. God, thank you for um, the beautiful day and the sunshine and the rain that we've had earlier, bringing beautiful green grass and flowers um, to the world around us. Thank you for bringing us through the entire 30 weeks of the book of John, and thank you for showing us more about who Jesus is. Pray that you will bless our time together um, and speak to our hearts um, what you have to say to us. In your name we pray. Amen. Okay, so <clears throat> have you ever heard of the phrase, believe and receive? You might have heard this. So um, it's a short saying, but it's true. And it talks about the simplicity of having faith in Jesus. So in the Gospel of John, I have, oh, you can't see it. I have actually, this is um, called the Adventure Bible, but I have this Bible in front of me. But um, the Gospel of John has been teaching us all about Jesus for these weeks, these 30 weeks of studying and what is true for the disciples and for the people who met Jesus when he walked on the earth is all true for us as well. Believe that Jesus is the Christ. Jesus is the son of God and you will receive eternal life. If you believe, you receive. Um, so this week we have one last Bible verse. So I have my, my, my notebook here and I went ahead and wrote it down in here. Did you guys write, have you guys kept up your, with your memory verses? So here is the last one. Let me see if I can hold it up so you can see it. Let's read it together. But these are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. John 20, 31. That's our last Bible verse. So in here it says, um, but these are written so that you may believe. So what are some other examples of so that that are in our daily life? Um, we brush our teeth so that we will have healthy teeth the rest of our lives. We walk the dog so that the dog will get exercise and not go to the bathroom in the house. Your mom probably would not like that. We do our homework so that we do in school and learn our subjects, do well in school and we learn our subjects. We wear our seatbelt so that we are safe when we're driving in the car. So those are good reasons to do these things. But John's gospel was written for an even greater reason. That we will believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. Um, and that by believing, we may have life in his name. So again, the verse says, But these are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. And that by believing, you may have life in his name. I definitely recommend putting this up, you know, on your mirror in the bathroom or in your bedroom, somewhere that you're going to see it. So let's go ahead. I am going to go ahead and read our, our verses for this week. It's, there's only four of them. So the first two, John chapter 20, verses 30 and 31. I'm going to read them. Jesus performed many other signs in front of his disciples. They are not written down in this book, but these, these are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God. If you believe this, you will have life because you belong to him. And now John 21 verses 24 and 25. This is the disciple who is a witness about these things. He also wrote them down. We know that what he says is true. Jesus also did many other things. What if every one of them were written down? I suppose that even the whole world would not have room for the books that would have been written. So they're saying we only know part of what happened. We don't even know every single thing that Jesus said and did. Um, so let's see here. Our... 
summary. So, okay, so those are the verses. And so in here, we know that John, the disciple that he is talking about in John chapter 21 is who? John. So John's gospel is trustworthy account of some of the miracles and the signs that Jesus performed during his ministry on earth. And so for us, the, the key truth is that by believing Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, you may have eternal life. You and you and you and your sister and your brother and your grandma and your friend and your neighbor and your mom and your dad. And so for us, our challenge, the challenge to us is to choose to believe that what again? That Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that we can have eternal life in his name. Um, so plant, you've, you've obviously probably learned a little bit about some of the planets and the sun. Do you know some of the names of the planets? Mercury, Mars. Yep. Okay. Um, and what do the planets do? They orbit around the sun, right? You have the sun in the middle and then you have the planets that go around different places, but they also spin. So they're going around the sun this way, but they also spin this way as well. So each planet has its own activity. It's spinning. That's how we get a year here on Earth, 365 days. We're spinning. So each planet does its own activity, its own spinning, but it's also orbiting around the sun. So just like the planets, we have our own activities, our school, our sports, our fun, our hobbies, our friends, right? So this is, we're still spinning like the planets. We have our own activities going on, but God should be at the center of the universe. So our faith and our belief in Jesus as the son of God will help us find purpose and make sure that God is in the center. You know, we're, we're revolving around God, even while we're spinning with activities that we have going on every day. Um, and as a family, I thought that was a great example to think about how like we have things going on, but God should still be in the center. One of the discussion questions in your book, if you have the John chapter, the John book, um, was, um, talking about how there are more things that, you know, can't even fit in this, in this book. And so again, so John says there are more things that Jesus did while he was on this earth and his room in this book. So if you were to write a book about all the things that Jesus has done in your life, what would you write? What would you write in that book of what Jesus has done in your life? One of the ways we can look at what Jesus has done in our life is through our prayers. So I wanted to challenge you to do a summer prayer journal. So I am just going to use the back of my memory verses. So I've been keeping track of my memory verses in my in my um, notebook here, right? And it goes it goes back before that too. I don't know why there's only one on that page, but here I changed and I put summer prayer journal. So I went ahead and put that down there, and I put today's date, um, May 11th. And I went ahead and write, wrote a couple of prayer requests. So you can do a different notebook. You can use your same notebook if you've been using it. But I just relabeled it Summer Prayer Journal. So I'm going to start here and continue going. And I put down a couple of prayer requests. And what I did is I left a little room underneath it where I can write a note later when I have seen there has been um, an answer to those prayers. Um, or something has changed or happened. I can write it in here so I can keep track of how I see that God has answered these prayers in my life. So you can put whatever it is that, you know, is a prayer request for you. Um, for me, I put my first prayer request was just that my children would finish school strong because we're homeschooling. So that my children would finish school strong. We would um, finish out all of our subjects and we would not be too grumpy about it. So that was my first prayer request. And then my second prayer request is for my husband to feel better. So I put both of those in there and then I left some space in between so I can come back and I can write down, you know, how did, um, you know, how did, did, you know, God touch my husband during the time of him not feeling well, or how did we finish school? And so I can write that back in there. Um, but it's a good way to see how Jesus is working in your life and how he's moving and how he's answering prayers, how he's with you in the difficult times. So some of your prayer requests, it's not necessarily going to change, but you're going to feel God with you, um, walking through difficult times with you. So you can write that down too. Like it was still really hard summer. It was a really hard, you know, whatever time it is, that you, you know, maybe you're not looking forward to, but God was with you the whole way. Um, so you can write those down too. So, um, I recommend you go ahead and you, you know, make a little journal and then let's see, what else is I going to tell you about? Um, yes. So again, looking back 
at the summary. I can't believe this is the end of our, the end of our, our study. I can't believe we made it. But again, so um, in our four memory verse or our four verses today, we've talked about how John is a, a trustworthy account of some of the miraculous signs that Jesus performed during his ministry here on earth. And the truth, the truth, the truth, the truth is that by believing Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, you may have eternal life. And so I want, I hope that you choose to believe that Jesus is the Son of God and that you may have eternal life in his name. So I have, this This is a very old shirt. So if you can tell, it used to have kind of a solid, it's a bird. It used to kind of be solid. Now it is very old and it's worn and it's kind of coming off. But I like this shirt because this shirt tells a story. And this shirt was from a specific time in my life. And it was for um, an event that I used to do at the church that I go to. And so this shirt, to me, this shirt tells a story of an event that happened and of a specific time in my life. And I love that this shirt tells a story. Like I won't get rid of this shirt even though it's old and all that because I love it. And I love remembering and talking about that time in my life. And so just like that, this shirt, you can think about times in your life that, um, you know, you have seen Jesus work or uh, what was the question we talked about just a minute ago? Um, if you were to write a book about the things that Jesus has done in your life, what would you write? The same thing, right? We have our story. No one's going to argue with your story or my story. If I have, this is my story of how I've seen Jesus in my life. These are the stories of how I've seen Jesus answer prayers in my life. That is so big. We don't have to wear a t-shirt, but we can tell um, our people, the people around us, our friends, our family, our neighbors, our um, friends at school. We can tell them about how we have seen Jesus in our life because that is an awesome way to share about Jesus. It's not always about knowing everything in the Bible, but it's about knowing what who Jesus is to you and what Jesus has done in your life. So I want you to think about, you know, your story, either a way you've seen Jesus answer a prayer that you've had, something you've been praying about all summer, um, or another way you've seen Jesus in your life, and use that as a story to tell other people about Jesus. Um, Wow, I can't believe it. Well, congratulations for making it all the way through our study of the book of John. I hope that you have loved studying John and learning about Jesus's life and um, the disciples. We've talked a lot about the disciples too. Um, it's been a great study. So thank you guys for joining me. Congratulations on finishing it. And um, don't forget that you can choose that Jesus is or choose to believe, you don't choose because it's true, but you can choose to believe that Jesus is the son of God and that you may have eternal life in his name. And go share that with some of your friends. Have a great summer, yellow dress. Bye.